Doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. And so it's Dinwiddie who brings up the ball for Brooklyn. The lead is two. So for Brooklyn now, we've got Mikel Bridges. Karan Butler is out there with Simmons. And it's Dinwiddie in at the point. Here's Bogdanovich. Rebound, Brooklyn. Simmons got five rebounds tonight. Here's Finney Smith. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. Not a ball stopper on the wing. Bridges with the help. Now here's Murray. To the left side wing. Here's Collins. Four on the shot. Clock. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. Because he's played a lot of undersized five. Collins has learned exactly how to get you in the air with that pump fake. Not free throw missing. What's interesting about John Collins, he plays fast, but he's also measured in his approach. For the Hawks, Elijah Wan's checked in for Capella, and Trey Young subbed in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. And a switch here for Brooklyn. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Ben Simmons. Good on the second free throw. Dinwiddie with it. Bridges outside. Butler on the wing. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Here's Dinwiddie. He gets it in there. Spencer, Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie's got seven points in the game. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Now here's Murray. He has seven. Here's Elijah Wong. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. And that's just too deep. Elijah Wong with way too many moves in there. Almost automatic. Here's Vinny Smith. Nine points in the game so far. Here's Claxton. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Cullen. The Nets have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. Taking two shots. That free throw, no good. And he sinks the second. Defended by Butler. Murray, the pass to Hayward. Here's the three. Offensive rebound. Elijah Wong. And it's blocked. Ugly start to this half. Hitting just 20% from the field. Gotta pick it up. Here's Dinwiddie. And a strong finish with two hands. And there is no better way to add to the lead. Isn't that true, GA? Especially when the slam is coming from the point guard. It sends a message that we're going to be aggressive no matter who's taking the shot. Here's Young. After the basket by Brooklyn. Oh, man. He hasn't had the rhythm tonight. Tried to make up for it there, but it just wasn't meant to be. The basket counts. 
And now it's an eight-point Nets lead. And coming out of halftime, Coach said they wanted to start fast. How's four for four? They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, their offense has ground to a standstill. Murray picks the young, takes the three. That's in there. Murray with the assist. Murray's got three assists now in this one. Hard to defend Trey Young from out there because he's a master at creating space. Now, here's Butler. He's got nine. Bridges outside. Six to shoot. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. A nice move to create a gap there in the defense and get to the bucket. He's had four chances at the line, made them all. Cameron Johnson's checked in for Dorian Finney-Smith. Basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Young pass to Collins. Butler against Murray. Back to Collins. Shoots a three. Another three for Atlanta. That's the guy you want to set up. Collins has brought this arsenal. That time, getting it done with the catch and shoot. Now here's Butler. He's got 12. On the wing, Bridges. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Bridges has got four points now in the quarter. Throughout the evening, he's got to his spots, and the defense has not adjusted. Here's Young. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. Mikhail Bridges picks one up. People worried about Trey Young's size entering the lead. Could he stand the punishment? He has answered that question. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for Brooklyn. Smart ball handling from them in this one. Pass it around to get ahead of the defense and put it in. In the hands of ready shooters. And another thing, they continue to work it inside and score. It's clear their game plan is attacking the paint as much as possible. That's good from Young. Brooklyn leading by four. Outside Butler. Shoots from the high post. They grab their own miss. Bridges outside. Dinwiddie outside. Puts up a three. Collins grabs the miss. And here's Young. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. It's deflected. This is where Bridges' wingspan is a factor, allowing him to reach out and get a piece of that shot. The kick outside to Butler. No good with the triple. The Hawks trail by four. They weren't on the wing. Got it. Good job in the low post. Hayward's got his second bucket of the game to go. For Brooklyn, they've gone 6 to 9 from the floor here in the second half. They've got to be happy with that. Butler on the way. To the right side. Here's Claxton. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Claxton's got 9. And just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. Young, no good. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. Here's Johnson. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. Butler against Young. Outside Butler. 
Dinwiddie with it. Now defended by Hayward. Dinwiddie with the bucket. Dinwiddie to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They gotta be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. Page can't get into the box. Now, here is Young. He's got 15. Collins dishes to Young. On deep. A rebound by the Nets. Outside Butler. Bridges outside. Young against Dinwiddie. Five to shoot. Johnson for three. Collins grabs the miss. Collins has got four rebounds in this game. And there's a foul. It's on Cameron Johnson. That's his first foul. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Mills, he's checked in for Brooklyn. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. Well, they didn't make it this far by giving up easy ones. And now their defense is in overdrive. Brooklyn on defense. Eight-point game. Now he Over Mills. And Tiny gets the jumper to fall. Hayward's got his third bucket of the night. And that's where the added muscle Hayward has put on during his career comes into play. So effective in combating an aggressive defense. Now here's Dinwiddie. Here's Johnson. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got six assists now in the game. Atlanta's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Young against Bridges. Murray outside. Shot clock at six. Kicks it out to Cowan. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. Love Murray's scoring potential, but the development of his playmaking may be in an even higher priority. Claxton the pass to Bridges. And Trey Young gets the whistle that time. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. That's his fourth foul of the evening. He needs to be careful now. Pick and choose where to be aggressive. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. Simmons checked in for Nicholas Claxton. And Thomas subbed in for Dinwiddie. The Nets working the ball around now. Thomas down low. Ended by Hayward. Thomas, that's good. Thomas got six. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed ten straight points in the paint. Here's Hayward and the Hawks getting another basket. He's been a different guy here in the second half. His shooting percentage far better than it was before the break. How a timeout call by Brooklyn. And coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing.
Bogdan. Here comes in for DeJounte Murray. And it's Bogdan Bogdanovich in for Trey Young. Outside Thomas on the wing, Bridges. Good, and the assist goes to Thomas. He's got 12. Hard to imagine them losing this game if they can keep shooting like that. Hayward finds Bogdanovich. Out to Hayward. A three ball. Make it five for ten with him in that bucket. After a lackluster first half, he's taking charge offensively. We'll see how the defense responds. Johnson surveying the floor. Pass to Mills. Down to five on the shot clock. There's the lob to Bridges. Throws down the area and slam. Perfect vision. Mills getting quicker these days at spotting the open man. Hayward passes to Collins. Ooh. Ooh. An explosive leap where Collins hangs in the air, puts on a show. Pass to Thomas. On the wing, Johnson. Three minutes to end in the third. 158 left in the third quarter of the game. And Simmons gets it to go on the assist by Thomas. Simmons got six points. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Outside Bogdanovich. Thomas against Hunter. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. A tough guy who doesn't mind mixing it up. Hunter can do a lot of damage in the paint. Now, here's Thomas. He's got six. And the pass to Johnson. Score that one for him. His eighth field goal. Eight for 11 on a very accurate night. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. Hayward against Bridges. Takes a three. Count that one, and that's lead has been cut down against four points with a bucket from Hayward. Trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor. Terrific quarter for him. And Bogdanovich picks up the foul. That's his first foul. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. The Nets making a switch here. Finney Smith's checked in. Forty-seven seconds left to play here in the third. Shots good by Mills. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Back to Bogdanovich. Pass to Bay. With that big frame, Sadiq is tough to guard in space. Team's four. This is his first chance at the line tonight. At the line for two. That free throw good from Bay. I like out on the floor, Sadiq Bey gives you everything he's got. Coach has to love having a player who is so determined to leave his mark on the game. Here's what Atlanta's going with right now. Clint Capella, he's checked in for John Collins. Okongwu comes in for Gordon Hayward. And it's DeJounte Murray in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. Bey hits them both. Nets leading by five. The shot and game clock separated by four. Claxton. And he gets it to go. Claxton's got five points in the quarter. You always hear about chemistry. That's a perfect example. Knowing where each other is at all times. And here is Murray. Seven points in the game. And it's Murray with the jam. You see it right there. One of Murray's biggest advantage is his lift off the floor. 
The third quarter comes to a close. Nets lead by five. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. Again, as our round one coverage continues. Now, here is Young. Down in the block, it's Okongwu and Capella. Murray is the shooting guard, Hunter the small forward. And it's Young in at the point guard. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Now, here's Hunter. Lock at six. Dinwiddie with the steal. And here we go, Butler heading to the hoop. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Spencer. Dinwiddie's got assist number seven for him tonight. Here's Young. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Such an unpredictable player. Young's fearlessness keeps defenders nervous, which makes them overcommit. At the line for now. Taking two shots. And that one falls for Young. And the Hawks making a change here. Elijah Wan's checked in. So Young nails them both. Nets leading by five. Dinwiddie with it. Outside Butler. Pass to Claxton. Six on the shot clock. Here's Dinwiddie. Atlanta with the rebound. Elijah has got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Murray kicks to Elijah Wan. Hunter, the three. Tries again. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. In the paint, Capella can be so aggressive. The foul isn't going to hold his shot back. Two shots. That's good from Capella. And he can't hit the second. That one miss was huge. He had a chance to turn this into a one possession game. Letting the guy sneak by for a putback off a free throw. That, that is inexcusable. Here's Finney Smith. First minute and a half of basketball play here in the fourth quarter. Here's the Florida. Count it and the foul. That's on Clint Capella. Yeah, how about that one? Able to maintain control and finish the play. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Hunter. Trail by five. Here is Hayward. Passes it to Elijah Wan. Back to Hayward. And 
Nobody gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Ever since halftime, he's had his eyes on the basket and just crushing it right now. At the line for Atlanta, Mr. Hayward. One shot. Facilitates rebounds and does so with consistency. Now here's Dinwiddie. Out to the right wing. Finney Smith kicks the butt. But teardrop falls in. And the Nets lead by four. That's nice work. Stopping short of the rim. Just laying it over the top. Young from outside drains it from beyond the arc. Young's got five points now in the quarter. He is starting to build up a little confidence. He had just one three in the entire first half, but he has hit two more since then. Outside, Elijah Wong. Back to Young. Outside for Murray to take the lead. The basket good off the assist from Young. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. You know what? They talked about this at halftime, and they're doing a better job of creating space. Timeout called the Nets. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. John Collins, he's checked in for Atlanta. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. During that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Brooklyn's head coach said to the team. He said, guys, we don't want to play hero ball. We don't want to take threes that aren't there. There are better options when you run the offense all the way through. Kevin will see if they can make that adjustment. Thanks, David. Here's Claxton. Dinwiddie left side. It's good. Spencer Dinwiddie's got the game tied up here for Brooklyn. And that was the right call. When you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. And it was great execution. Clutch effort all the way around. Pulls in another ball. He hauls in his 20th rebound. Dominating for the last. At the line, to your heart. The key the last one. Taking two shots. good on the free throw. And he's good on the second. Yeah, that's a big miss right there. Now only a one-point lead. Now the pass to Claxton. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got the assist number eight now on the night. And so Young will bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. They trail by one. Out to Hayward. Back to Young. The Hawks need to get off a shot here. And then Elijah Wong with the dunk. I 
me. I hope you can appreciate the torque that that kind of move generates. He just has that natural explosiveness. The dream is something to behold. Now, here's Bridges. Dinwiddie outside. Oh, and there's the alley -oop. Time running low, guys, and uh, somebody has got to win this one. Yeah, well, who knows? We might need overtime in this one. It's been that kind of a game. Outside Collins. Got it. Number seven on the night. Seven for 11 from the floor. An active interior presence. 6'10", John Collins keeps improving and keeps impressing. Pass to Finney Smith. And there's a nice one-handed slam. Just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Now, here is Young. Cohen adds a two-pointer. The offensive rebound. A nice shot by Elijah Wong. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art. And that's the result you'll get. Dinwiddie against Young. Bridges passes to Dinwiddie. Back to Bridges. Knocks it loose. And stolen by Murray. Hayward looking over the floor. Dinwiddie against Young. Elijah Wan trying to break free. A nice shot by Young. And now a three-point Hawks lead. Dinwiddie against Young. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Atlanta? They are making it rain from the three-point land right now. And the coaching staff continues to encourage them to let it fly. And also, guys, how about the hustle we've seen on the boards? They're getting after it and cashing in on second chance scoring opportunities. And the first one at the line is good. And both free throws good for Dinwiddie. The Hawks have gotten exactly two-thirds of their shots to find the bottom of the net here in the fourth. Eight of twelve. Young with the ball. Defended by Dinwiddie. And the shot goes in. And they're scoring much more efficiently here in the second half. And they've gotten that field goal percentage above 50. Well, their pass it to Dinwiddie. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on Hakeem Olajuwon. Shooting for Brooklyn. Spencer Dindy taking two shots. One is off. And the second free throw, good. Only down two now, but that miss might come back to haunt you. If they don't get a stop, it's back to a two-possession game. Young passes to Collins. And here's Hayward. Five on the clock. Or the three. Rebounded by the Nets. Claxton's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Dinwiddie against Young. And there's the block. Just stops it cold and takes possession.
to the inside. Now, Dinwiddie. And it's all evened up. Spencer, Dinwiddie's got 13 points here in the second oh. half alone. Given the size disadvantage, you have to have a lot of confidence to take that shot. And also a lot of skill. This is exactly the type of thing you practice for over and over again. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. And as fans and broadcasters, we're not permitted to hear the specifics in these huddles. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. reflects just how efficient he's been. It's better than 50%, always a sign of a solid offensive performance, but his movement and his shot selection have also both been tremendous. Now, here is Young. Offside Collins. Shoots over Dinwiddie. Nails the baby hook. Collins has got six here in this quarter. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Here's Claxton. Elijah Wan with the block. Without a doubt, one of the most versatile shot blockers in the game. Elijah Wan does it in the painted area as well as along the perimeter. Now here's Butler. And the layup's good off the glass. Butler's got it all tied up now for the Nets. And that's about the worst defense I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. And I love the play call. This is where you get the ball into the hands of your closest, where they can do something with it. He just exudes a love of the game, guys. You can see it in everything he does. This guy lives and breathes the game. Here's Finney Smith. Pass to Butler. Passes it to Finney Smith. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Finney Smith's got 10 points here in the second half. It's enough to where you have to respect him. Had one triple in the first half, now has his second. Here's Murray. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. You won't see this young man turn down big shots. Murray believes in himself, and so does this team. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. Without question, Trey Young displaying his skills today. This guy is killing you, and so far I haven't seen a good adjustment defensively. Here's Claxton. Here's Finney Smith. And the pass to Dinwiddie. Butler with the ball. Now defended by Hayward. Claxton with the Butler. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Instant classic, fellas. This one could come right down to the last shot. Hayward passes to Young. Back to Hayward from outside the arc. He watches it go through the hoop for his eighth make. Now eight for 14. Those are the shots you expect him to make. Gordon Hayward up to the task. Murray against Bridges. One forty-six left in the game. Six to shoot. Dinwiddie wide open. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Atlanta's gone beyond the arc seven times here in the fourth and been successful three times. Kept alive. Oh, and Elijah Wan throws it down. And how about the killer pull of Elijah Wan? Loves to put the team on his back when the game gets tight. And when his shot is off. Shut down. This is the way you play defense. This is how you protect the rim. 
And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Incredible competitor. Trey Young always wants to be the one to take this shot. That's good from Young. Nets trail by seven. And this has reached desperation time for him. For them to have a chance, everything has to go right on both ends from this point on. The stretch here, both teams still on Yes, and if you love offense, you're loving this matchup. It's been a highlight reel affair. First one to drop. Tough one to miss. Atlanta making a switch here. Capella's checked in. And he does get the second one. And that increases their lead to six. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. They're down by six. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Smith takes it in with it. It's good! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. We're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. No choice but to foul there, but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the end. Thank you. First, that gives them a four-point cushion. Young is fantastic at taking initiative, especially when the game is on the line. Second one is good. We both at the line, and it's a five-point game. Nice job extending the lead and making this a two-possession game now. They've got to take the first good shot they can find. And even if they make it, they need an immediate foul no matter who catches the ball. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. And you know what? Smart foul. you got to try and extend the game. First free throw is good, and that gives them a four-point position. And we continue to see Young take on more responsibility, welcoming the challenge to go to the line. 
So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a five-point game. And that's a wrap. Those free throws being the nail in the coffin. Here's Dinwiddie. Out of bounds, Atlanta will take possession. Got a piece of it. And so the Hawks take the win. A pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum is so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Have a great day. Thank you very much, guys. Trey, what does a win like this mean in terms of where this team is heading? I think we're heading in the right direction. Uh, I'm super excited about the future here in Atlanta, the future in this team, and I mean, we're heading in the right direction. It certainly looks like it, man. Thanks very much. Back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you later.